Hey guys, it's Momo from Momo Gaming, and I have two bits of information and news for you guys. The first information is on Xbox One, and as you can see in the title, Xbox One will no longer require you for your Kinect to be plugged into your system to be able to play your Xbox One. As we knew, Xbox One needed to have the Kinect plugged in to be able to play, now Microsoft comes out and announces that you no longer have to do that. Microsoft is just pulling off these 180s after 180s after 180s. They cannot seem to make up their mind. Man, okay, well, let me tell you why this is actually good news for gamers. Well, the first big information with that is, well, for me, I'm in college. I'm a college student. What if I go home for the weekend or what if I go home for a short break or whatever? I don't want to, like, carry my connect all the way around back from my college, back home, to be able to play my Xbox One. I mean, it's just not something I don't want to do, but now here's the other thing. What if it breaks on the way from traveling from college to back home? Then I can't play my Xbox One because, you know, the Kinect doesn't work. So, you know, that's the first good thing. <clears throat> Another good thing is many people bitch about the Kinect, and the first thing you can do is, you know, unplug it, put it in the corner, put it away from you. So if you're really afraid of the the government spying on you, you, you know, you don't even need to plug that crap into your system. I mean, I don't think the government's going to be spying on me, but you never know. If you got, you're that afraid, hell, you put it in your closet. You can sell it on eBay, you know, you can give it to a friend, you can slap somebody in the face with it, you can break it, you can blow it up with a C4, you can do whatever the hell you want with it, sell it on eBay, you don't need the connect anymore. And better yet, what is best about this is that now we're getting close to Gamescom, right? Getting games close to Gamescom, Microsoft is put in pulling all of these changes. First, the DRM policies, always online, 24 connect system crap that we all, most of us hated. Then they took away the family sharing. Then they reintroduced the family sharing, sort of coming back. Then the indie, <laughs> the indie publishing, well, you know, we already knew about that. You couldn't uh, self-publish games. You had to go through publishers. And now you can, and every Xbox One is going to be basically a dev kit. Everyone can basically make their game if they really wanted to, and, you know, sell it and update without paying prices. It's all changing and getting better, but, man, why didn't they just come out in the first place and have this all, the, you know, the reputation of Microsoft has been already ruined from E3. They have to basically come out during Gamescom and basically reveal Jesus Christ as, like, the savior of this game. I mean, they have to do something big to save the, you know, the reputation of Xbox One. Now, personally, I think some of the features and the changes are great, but many people still whine and bitch about Xbox, even though, you know, the best parts are, you know, being fixed and everything is getting changed. <laughs> but, come on, this is... The PR system's finally getting back to, you know, being good. <laughs> but I'm still laughing about this because it's just ridiculous. I mean, if this was all announced at E3, you know, many people would be excited to get the Xbox One. Yeah. <laughs> but it, what, going into, like I said, going to Gamescom, the big news with this is now since we don't need a Kinect, the obvious thing that's going to be coming up, will there be a bundle without the Kinect? Well, I'm saying if they're taking the Kinect not being a, a f main function to be with your Xbox One, they're saying, oh, well, you don't need it. I'm g going to guess that there's going to be a bundle. I'm not going to say it's going to come out, you know, this year. It might come out next year. They probably want to try to sell as many Kinects as possible. And that's, you know, fine, whatever. I'm going to be fine with the Kinect. If, there's, if the Kinect is as good as they say this time, Everyone's saying, well, the Kinect 2.0 is what Kinect should have been. If that's true, then great. That There could be some good things and good features of the Kinect. Not a f another Star Wars Kinect game. Please, dear God, no dancing Star Wars game. Star Wars game, no. No, none of that. Just nice features, things I can use with, you know, the Kinect. But this is good news and great news if there's going to be... They're probably announcing a Gamescom... There's going to be so... <laughs> Xbox has so much to explain. By the way, what the hell is with that rocket? So much to explain with what they're doing with the system now. Why they're changing it. Whatever. What What's going to happen. And they're probably going to announce, you know, a bundle in the near future. Future with saying, oh, 
well, you know, we don't, here's a lo uh, uh, Xbox One with no Kinect, and my guess it will be $399. Now, they're going to even out the playing field with the price, and there's going to be no Kinect. So there's very few things that, you know, trolls and, you know, PS4 fanboys can be bitching about. Now, this is my opinion on p fanboys. Oh, just shut up and play the system you want to play. I, if you want to play Xbox One, great for you. You want to play PS4, great for you. If you want to play a system that's, you know, more powerful and, you know, better like better experiences with PC, then go play that. You know, just shut up, <laughs> all of you. Enjoy what you want to do and have a good time with it. But, you know, it's going to be a much level, close level playing field, and it's going to be exciting to see what, you know, they're going to, <laughs> they're going to announce during Gamescom. They have a lot of explaining to do. I don't know how they're going to do it in the short time period they have. They need, like, a freaking whole day to announce all the changes they made with their Xbox One. Now, very quickly, before this video ends, I have one bit more of information to share with you guys, and this is the news you guys really want. All of us. The Grand Theft Auto Online trailer is going to come out this week, the uh, Thursday, August 15th. It is coming out this week, and we're going to see what online gameplay is going to be. I am so excited, and tell me what you guys think about this. Are you guys excited as me about the Grand Theft Auto trailer? Uh, it's probably my most anticipated game. And tell me anything you guys want about, you know, Xbox One making this change with the connect and I have one question for you guys is what game if you can only get one game coming up this year which game would you get only one game guys what game would you choose for this year I am Momo Gaming talk to you guys later